We're back. I've had a look around the hideaway, but there's not really much going on at the moment. We're just going to go into the next part of the game. We have just finished coming off the back of a massive set of cinematics. And we've also rescued Gav from being in trouble. And Jill's back. Here's Jill. I was going to kill her there. It really is you. It is. Clive! You're alive. Eminem, thanks. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The like Iron Jill Kingdom chat. saw our weakness and pounced upon it. You like Jill? They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. I just turned on my lamp and the bulb just popped. It all happened so fast. So ready to end it. Draft IRL. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a Domino <sighs> and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? We got together, played Yu-Gi-Oh. Makes an effort, had a it showdown. Was me. What? I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you. You wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. Uh oh. Elephant juice. The hooded man. He, he spoke to me. What did he say? You say Get me a kebab. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... Oh wow. Romance. All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Oh. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Fuck. Uh, 
Sorry. You just been spying on us? The fuck? I'll see you soon then, Clive. Wow. Direct full on face from Jill as she That's speaks into the camera. We've a long to show that she's in love. A new quest is available nearby. Alright. If there's opportunities to do some side quests, guys, we gotta do them. We gotta commit. We don't have to do them, but I want to. We'll see what happens. We'll see how good they are. Let's test the quality. Alright, mate. You. Newcomer. I need help. Hey up. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. Right. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. <laughs> okay. Oh, Kippo! <laughs> they even have a Moogle. Hey, Moogle with a gun. Seen one in the flesh. Kippo. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the ones carried me here, but none of them understand a word. I say I've been banging my something that against my somethings. Painful. Yep. Now you're here, my pom pom's safe at last. You can hear me. You can actually hear me, Kupo. What does that mean? Nectar, his name is. Oh, hey, Nectar. Wonderful. All right, Barkeep, what's up? Kenneth. Ah, Kenneth hi. Kniff from Connecticut. Just you're settling in. Hey, Snowblower, how's it going? Used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. Welcome. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Oh God. Yeah, take the hearty meal. There you go. I've got the drugs that Kenneth wanted you to have. Ah, you're back. All done? I ate all the food. Here, your reward. Oh my god. If this is two sharp fangs, guys, there's gonna be hell to pay. I'm gonna I burn down this entire something. settlement with my fucking... With a fret. Their place. A fact oh, your place, little Moses. What's a weedle to a Pidgeot? Okay. A place for everyone. 20 XP. And a gill bug. Kenneth told us when we're done. I see I'm busy here. All right, calm down, you. Sorry, what it be? So I can now make Stormcry, guys, which is a new weapon. It's only a five, like it's a tiny little upgrade, but it is an upgrade nonetheless. I think we should do it. It's not going to cost us anything because we have the wind shard. I think we're supposed to make this, so not let's bad. just go ahead and do it. If I do say so myself. And then what I'm going to do as a result is we're going to sell the old one to Bahid. <laughs> this is our new sword, guys, on our back. Let's get a good look at this. I don't know if it looks as cool as the old one, but it's certainly different. Should I have... Oh, I do have a quest marker. Okay, that's perfect. A lot of build downs. I think there's a strong possibility that the main quest might lead me back through here, but I think we just go do this while we have an opportunity to. All right, this place is rather beautiful, and the last time we came here, it was night time. So we... I know. Someone's in trouble. Someone's in trouble. And as the main character, I have to save them. Spider attacks. I haven't played this, guys, so... Forgive me. Woo! Stay down. Right, hold on. We're doing our new technique. You ready? That's not the new technique. There's nothing new about that. Right, here we go. New technique, new technique, new technique. Can you get off my dog? Can you turn around, spider? Fargo just fucking 1v1s like a god. Right, my new technique, my new technique, my new technique. You ready? You ready? You ready? Ready? Watch, 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 watch. Come on, hit me. Hit me, you fucking bitch. Okay, that wasn't really that great, but never mind. We timed it poorly. You're finished. Wait, is that it done? Wait a minute, no, I wanted to pra- I really wanted to practice my new Garuda ability. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Valley Madder, Sharp Fang, that's fine. Oh, here she is, the damsel. Are you hurt? I've the character. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. Character. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Well, the soil? And what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Well... You should hurry back. Wow. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking Certainly for you leaning into this uh, shade quest nonsense. Unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Make out later, yeah? Don't tell Joel. Okay, Clive. Black soil, soil from the vineyard. Here. I'm assuming there's going to be some... Dark, rich and fragrant. Dark, rich and fragrant. Holy fuck. Oh, I got it right here. Oh, excellent. 
Oh, I just banged my head off the fucking post there, Jesus Christ. Alright, okay. Oh, here's some more... Some more soil, absolutely perfect. So we'll take this home to the farmers. Oh yeah, they'll love this shit. Jill's going to be so proud of me. Excellent, wow. She's going to strike my dorm into fire. Okay, right. Um... Last sample? Sure. I wanna get... That should be enough. That was perfect. I better get it back to the hideaway. There you are. And? All safe and sound. I am it. I've got this soil. It's fucking great. Oh. Yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Me. Uh, we wouldn't be yes. growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Yeah, I like that. Although cool. you shouldn't have to pay it too. Well. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. My phone I know number. It's not much, but it's something at least. Text me on this. Quest complete. Mediocre soil delivery. Moving heaven and earth. That does not seem like an appropriate... Oh, okay, we get some sharp fangs. 20 of them. I, t I just imagine her handing 30 bloody hides to you to put into your pocket after the quest is done. Like, you just give her this look as if to say what? Quests are done. The sword's been purchased, guys. We're going to move on. One thing that we have to note that you guys might have missed if you haven't been keeping up with the playthrough is that we as the audience have seen the fact that Joshua is in fact alive. So that's a big twist that happened at the end of the last play part of the playthrough. You just might need to know what that. What do you want? Oh, hey. To say farewell. We're leaving. Oh, she's offering me the Gaia Blade, which is an upgrade on the sword I've just crafted. Mother of God, are you kidding me? So this one's just a straight upgrade. So why would we not? I, I, yeah. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Anyways, we got a better sword. Let's go talk to Gav real quick. So your mind's made hey, Gav. Up, is it? I like Gav a lot. We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. Just grunted mid sentence. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm... Crap it, goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Oh, here she is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. Nope. Ready, my lady. My god, Clive, hide your boner, mate. Ready. Ready. Alright, Jill. Let's go collect some soil. The soil's, the soil's not going to collect itself, Jill. The fangs aren't going to collect themselves. But, but Clive, aren't you the main character? Yes, Jill, I am. It doesn't matter. Somebody's got to get the soil. Someone's got to deliver the macaroni pies. Just Wilfie, don't try and beat me. You guys think I'm going to, going to give up on the shitty side quest just because they've got garbage rewards chat? Who do you think I am? Hmm? Try and streamline that in editing to make it less painful, but I'll do it. Rosaria, it's been thirteen years. For this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. She even got an ear piercing. Afraid to go back. I know. I'm so fucking attractive, Jill. It hurts me. But I'm here now. Oh my god. Thanks to you.
Wow. The Imperial Province of Rosaria. Almost as sexy as press on. Life's face. It's my blue eyes, Jill. And my perfect hair. And chiseled abs. And my scars. God, I'm so sexy. Carry this dirt for me, Jill. Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. Okay. But can we say the same for her patrons? Three reads. Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Ooh. Come on, Jill, keep up. Oh, hello there, travelers. Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a premium on Imperials. Hey. Maybe I should up your rations, build you up a bit. Maybe, maybe you should up my rations. All right, let's have a look at this place. We've got the Whispering Waters to our right, a side quest up ahead, and obviously our main objective is at the end of the read. So we've got like a kind of marshlands area. It looks pretty. How strong are these enemies? Is that something I want to fuck with? He looks big. A bighorn level 19. What level am I? I am level 19. Jill? I'm sorry, Jill. You thought you were coming out here to do something important. Company. Time to fuck up some buffalo, Jill. Get in there, you useless pansy. Easy. Jill, the, the big horn's not going to kill itself, Jill. Jill, get on its back. Climb up on the Hydra's back, Jill. Fuck it up, quick. Oh my god, Jill, you've got Shiva magic. I fucking forgot about that shit. Jill, we're not done here. Keep fucking wailing on it. What are you fucking doing back there? Aren't you supposed to be important? Get it in the ass, Jill. <laughs> I'm gonna stop in the accent. Alright. So hyper tonight. Alright. 20 experience. I just got the exact same amount of XP for killing this random animal than I did for delivering meals. How does that correlate on a scale of improvement? I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, like, why did they give me the exact same XP? I'll never know. How much did I get for killing these things? I get 16 XP for killing the small plants, but I get 20 for killing the giant buffalo that takes me 10 minutes. Somebody's not been calculating this very carefully. The music here is very pleasant, at least it's nice. Let's see what's in this little grove. There's gotta be something big around here. Can I kill you guys? Oh my god. Didn't think I was actually gonna be able to kill these guys. Sorry, Jill. I'm just killing some random deer for dinner. If you'd like to help me, that'd be sick. What the fuck just happened there? Alright, we got level up to 20, that's fine. Bill, you didn't have to do that to the poor thing. What was that? Was that your limit break? Jill, you've got to save that for the boss for crying out loud, not on the small fucking zebras. Jill, it's kind of dangerous in here. Whenever you see a giant pool of water like this, it means something big's about to pop out of the fucking ground. Now, knowing this developer, it's probably another mobile we used from the first chapter, but that's okay. We accept it because we love them. Jesus Christ, Jill, I told you! Make it look easy. Woo! Oh shit, I nearly killed Jill. Uh, Jill, are you, are you okay, Jill? God damn it, Jill, I'm loving what you've done with the glove and the boots. You're almost as perfect as me. Okay, we gotta stop doing this. I can't, I can't. Once I've adopted the Clive, I can't get out of the Clive. I need to stop. I can't. I'm trying. I really am. Be Briar clamshells. Jill, it would seem we were baited yet again. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Lazy bastards. Oh, a chocobo caravan's been knocked on its side. Chance for me to Oi, use my big biceps. Stop and give me an hand. Hi, Rowan. Traveling trader. Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? An hand. What are you gonna do with it? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed, you couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Uh, sure. We're going that way anyway. Fine. Let me let me grab this two gill real quick, chat. Three bloody hides. Wow, now I know why the farmer girl gave them to me. She's just finding them out, out here in the swamps. Right, okay. Well, we're only going 200 yards up the road. Why not? Here we are. Oh. Martha's rest. Martha's rest. Very cool. Path to the left takes us down to Crooked Nash Pier. We'll see what's happening. We'll hand in the, the 
a little side quest and then we'll go explore some other stuff. See see what we get for this. Oh right, so <laughs> Oh shit. Gerard. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. Sealed crate of drugs. It's of drugs. Cocaine, actually. Vintage cocaine. This is for me, right enough. Thank you. What am I getting? Quest complete. 2820 20 XP and some stinky bird feathers. Oh yeah, bloody hides and some sharp fangs. Perfect. I really, I'm in short supply of those actually. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Really good stuff. They're really good. That's that's great. This tiny, this tiny area up here actually connects underneath the village, whereas this path goes up to the village. But then there is some steps. I'm tempted to have a look around a little bit, guys, just to see, and then we'll continue. These bandits, foot pads. Hello. That's enough. This poor villager. I don't think he deserved what I just did to him. Look, you can hear him fucking whining. Oh, what did we get for this? Uh, steel silk and steel silk. Alright. Well, that was probably worth, I think. You never know when we'll need these crafting components. And it'd be really nice to just collect them as we go and then use them later rather than, like, go hunting for them. Yeah, this game does a lot of stuff beautifully, but, like, see this right here, guys? When I am beginning a Final Fantasy game, this is what matters the most to me. It's like, how much do I like the main character? And then after that is how much, how how nice is it to explore these areas? Like, is this a marshland? This is a perfect RPG marshland. And I know it's just a marshland and you guys are like Jack Shell, but it, they've, they've nailed this, in my opinion. It's all perfect. It's just the rest of the, the components need to be touched up a little bit. I was talking to Mrs. Wolfie about this recently as well, and the, the sad reality is whether they took an extra, like, three months to develop this game further and improve parts of this, I actually don't think they would have made any extra money. They would have made the exact same amount of money, and from a profit spectrum, a lot of fans think that these developers should uh, not just think about money, but the reality is that's what they're trying to do as a business a lot of the time. No matter who's driving the car of the, of the project, they probably wouldn't have changed their, their profits, so they've probably tried to get the, the game out the door quick enough and what they've sacrificed is, you know, stuff that they probably don't deem to be as important. But as a, as a core Final Fantasy fan, I want my loot to be rewarding yeah, and exciting. Because then everything else fits together nicely. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Okay, we've made it to Martha. Martha's rest. Alright, bit of choppy frame rate in here our fast travel point as well. Let's have a look around here. We are going to stop in at the store before we have this quest location. Here. Has this thing always been glowing? <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find stuff. I will say this game is... So much for all parts of the Empire being equal. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but playing on your PlayStation 5, this game has a really, really heavy motion blur thing going on, which I've mentioned once or twice already in the playthrough. I don't mean to keep banging on about it because you guys are going to think that I'm hating and uh, whenever I criticise these games know that it definitely comes from a place of love and fondness it's not that I'm intentionally bragging on it for no reason but I feel like when I'm turning my camera dude I'm literally dizzy sometimes I uh, I would assume that when this game comes to PC you'll have all your configuration options for turning off motion blur etc but right now it seems kind of painful oh, do. so I can buy my Gaia blade or my bastard sword we don't want to buy that is there anything else you sell me that's good? This is an upgrade, but again, we don't really care. Battle chains are a downgrade, but then we'll probably become an upgrade later on, so that's worth considering. Obviously, our steel crowns are plus two, so these are probably better. Dixie, thank you for the 38 months. Welcome. Nice to see you, Dixie. How's it going tonight? Happy days. You can actually buy meteorite from this guy if you want to. Um. Honestly, if we have 1100 gold and we only have 8 of these, the fact that he sells them is interesting. Normally they wouldn't do that unless you absolutely needed these. I'm going to buy one of these. There you go. Okay, let's speak to Martha. Hello. Martha's cute. 
I mean, she's ugly. Sorry, Jill. I didn't mean that. Shut up, Martha. You. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. I increase the camera Bears speed, says Lola, so maybe I'll do that. In Rose area. Maybe I'll do that, guys. A lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Oh, we're going down to Martha's dungeon. Jesse said the motion blur I never really noticed on my end, but I know a lot of people have been complaining about it. It might be to do with what you're playing on. If you guys are playing on a big TV, Sorry for before. motion blur Can't might not be as problematic, but if you're close to a monitor, Hi, Martha, an old friend of you guys sex. let me know what you think. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. Can jump over it, I'm an icon. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. You could definitely I trade over that. a carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Uh oh. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. He's done a runner. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. <laughs> oh god. Alright. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. Problem, Martha. You said that he went out on a job. Oh, for fuck's sake! Right. Come on, Marshes man. were dangerous at the best of times. Should There's hurry. a ladder to the side of the gate. Yep. His name is Bernard. Got it. Prioritize the quest. Boom. All right. Very good to East Pooley. Here's the gate. Here's the ladder. And that must be the ladder. The ladder. Jill, look. Uh, Jill, I'll go down first, uh, just to make sure it works. You come down after me, and I definitely won't check out your ass. Go, okay. Yes, Jill, it's fine. Down you come. Toggle. Jill. Guys. <laughs> Don't make me come back up that fucking ladder. I'll find the bridge builder on my own. You guys have some uh, tortillas and some chicken. I'll be back in a How in the f- Jesus Christ, do you think you're the main character? <laughs> Jill, what in the fuck? Next you'll be telling me Toggle's a- Oh my god, Toggle! How in the fucking shizen fucking thousand- I don't care Okay, right. Uh, you guys- do that shit again. That uh, when I get to the bottom, shit. I'll wait for you guys, but when I turn around, you'll be standing there, okay? One, two, Draco, thank you for giving us up to Mr. Vodkrak. I'm going down this ladder, and if I turn around when and you guys are there at the bottom, then I might shit my pants. I'm serious, guys, don't fuck with me. Okay, down I go, and TNG. What was that? Oh, Christ, mate. It came from under the bridge. Must have been imagining things last time. You guys coming down or okay i'll meet you at the bottom <coughs> thank you for getting the sub mr draco i appreciate you massively come on joe i think this guy's is it this guy there he is all right here we go don't mind me that's enough Okay. Fine. Saved. GG's. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Actually... She asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but and it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will.